Picture this. You start up Safekist, you open the level editor, and you want to build something. Do you A. Build a track, or B. Build some weird stuff? If you chose A, then congrats, you're sane. My mind was aiming more towards B though, so I decided to, once again, make something completely unrelated to racing in a racing game. Here's how I made a game in Safekist. Enjoy. No, what comes first with any project is the idea. No, this idea sort of just came out of nowhere. I don't really know how I got it, but it was there. So what I had in mind was to have these Habo slide towards this other Habo, which is controlled by the player. This Habo needs to jump over the other Habos. It's kind of like the dinosaur game, except everything is made of Habos. Now, for this project, I was gonna need to make four different parts. An input system that makes the Habos jump whenever the player sends an input, a dispense system that dispenses the Habos that function as obstacles, a score system, and a fail system for when the player fails to jump over one of the Habos. Now before I made the final product, I actually made another version that functioned a little bit differently, and in this version the score system is replaced for a win system, and we'll first have a look at that version. So here's what it looks like. Now this does require split screen mode. One of the players will basically function as a game view. You just leave this player AFK and it will end up on one of these tables. Um, the other player is used to send the inputs. It will go to the left over here. And if you don't want to send any inputs, you stay against this red wall. Um, and when you do want to send an input, you go towards this green wall. And that will send one of these toilets down onto this rotating platform. Now, all of these rotating platforms are slightly inside of each other, causing them to rotate as a whole. Now, the problem that I was having with this was that um, the toilets further down this line were having less impact on the rotating platform, so the jumps would be inconsistent. So I added this rotating platform with a Hable and an Omni Booster to make that more consistent. Now, the dispense system is basically non-existent. Um, I just placed a few Hables down. Um, that function as obstacles, and that's pretty much it. The wind system um, consists of multiple parts. You see, we have to make both the AFK player finish and the player that does the inputs finish. Now, the way I did that was that these tables that the AFK player stands on basically just fall, um, causing the player to fall into the finish. And this works because a table all the way over here from the very start, follows this entire path and then at the end of it, it hits these other two Habels um, and this is the Habel that goes towards the AFK player um, and it basically just launches into all of these Habels, causing them all to drop on the other side, um, this Habel follows this long path at a very high speed um, and it basically just reaches a Habel door that simply opens when the player has won. Now the way the fail system works is when the player fails to jump over one of the Habels, the Habel will hit this Habel and it will then fall down over here and block the path for the Habel that triggers the win system. Now even though this version worked, I really wanted to make a version that didn't require a split screen, so I went back to the drawing board and I made a few changes. The input system has a go. Actually, while we're at it, let's remove everything. Now, I had to find a way for the player to send inputs whilst being mostly stationary. And I did that with this. Now, this mechanism was mostly inspired by a track called Monza. Now, what this track told me was that when you do arms up, the hitbox of the body of your car slightly moves up. And so, um, I could use this info to put a booster over here and a booster over here and only have this bottom one be active when you don't have arms up. This way the player can move forwards when they do arms up and will be pushed backwards again when they put their arms down again. 
and over here we have a fridge spawner which basically allows us to have an infinite amount of inputs now this gap right here is so that this doesn't pile up because these fans function as a delay so that it doesn't pile up over here and then this makes sure that it doesn't pile up over here and i um ended up having to decrease this because what this is for is so that um there is always a certain amount of fridges even though um they will end up despawning so if you don't send inputs um during a certain amount of time they will start to despawn but because there's this part over here and they get removed over here you should keep getting fridges from over here but this was still a bit too big so in the final product i ended up um, decreasing the size of it a little bit um but yeah it works mostly fine Now this is what the dispense mechanism looks like and the way it works is there will be 99 hibbles stacked on top of each other over here um, and this mechanism only allows one to be over here at a time um, and it will be pushed against this fan which once again functions as a delay so that um, there will be hibbles dispensed at a constant rate and every time that happens the hibble will go over here and this is basically a randomizer it can either go through and get um, 80 speed or it will be pushed by the fan and it will get 50 speed um, and this should make it random enough so that you don't have the same time in between table jumps but it's actually a little bit random now over here is the score system and the way it works is um, hables that have been jumped over will continue down this path they will be put in a vertical position over here and get launched into this column where they will stack up and hables 1 all the way through 9 will just stack up normally but the 10th one will be blocked by the 9th one it will then fall down over here and hit this booster and they will rotate this platform that the other hables are also on this causes all of these hables to get removed and this other hable, the 10th hable will be sent over here um, this is all just to put it in a position and it will go over to the next column this way instead of needing a hundred tables to count the score i would only need a maximum of 18 which would be with a score of 99 and this is just easier to reduce lag and avoid any other problems now at first i only wanted to make the max score 99 however i wanted to add something special when you reach the max score and it was easier to put a trigger in between the 99th table and the 100th table rather than in between the 98th and the 99th so i ended up making it 100 max score so that this 100th table would go through over here and hit this table which would trigger the special thing now lastly the fill mechanism the way it works is um, the hable would just drop down over here, it will then hit this other hable, which goes over here and turns this platform, which blocks the path for any other hables you might jump over after you've already failed, um, which makes sure that it doesn't add to your score anymore. And um, this platform also pushes this hable, which goes over here, it's these two hables, um, which will just launch into the player, um, sometimes sending it into the finish, sometimes not. Um, it doesn't really matter whether it does or not, um, the finish is only really here for validation purposes. And so this is also what everything put together looks like. Um, I know I could have probably linked it up a bit nicer, but it, it works fine. Um, the hables from over here will just get launched over here to go to the scoring system. And this is the special stuff linked up. Um, this is the input system. Um, which goes into here, um, which is then linked up with multiple resetting platforms to the actual table that jumps. Um, and over here is the dispense mechanism linked up. So yeah, I'm pretty glad it works. If you want to give it a try, there should be a link in the description. And the rest of the video will probably just be some cinematic shots or something. Enjoy.